up everyone it's your girl crystal here welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about all the weight loss not all of them but the most common weight loss myths weight loss myths i can't say that word that you hear about and i'm here to tell you if they're fake or real number one the first myth is that all calories are equal a lot of people think that if you eat, say, a bag of hot Cheetos that has 180 calories, I actually think that's right. I think it has 180 calories per serving. Say you eat a 180 calorie serving of hot Cheetos and you eat 180 calories worth of meat or protein or whatever. A lot of people think that it's the same thing because what a lot of people do is all they do is count calories. So they think that they can be eating whatever they want as long as they're meeting their calorie goal, which is not true. They're different foods processed differently because they have a different metabolical pathway that they go through because there's a difference between protein calories and carb calories. As far as energy wise, yes, the same amount of calories will give the same amount of energy but the, the same calories depending on what you eat will change the effects on hunger that you have and the, your hormones and those things regulate your body weight so if you're eating like hot cheetos versus like a protein the hot cheetos have more of a chance on affecting your body weight if that makes any sense Myth number two, and this is all this is gonna come off as so hypocritical for me to say, but carbs the myth is that carbs make you fat, and it's gonna be so people are gonna come after me for saying that it's not true, but it's not true. Carbs do not make you fat, it just depends on the certain carbs that you intake. The diet I went on restricted my carbs and that's honestly one of the best ways to lose weight is restricting your carbs. Carbs don't cause weight gain. There's good carbs like fruits and vegetables and things like that. What causes weight gain from carbs are refined carbs. So like refined grains and sugars, those are the type of things that cause weight gain. Like my hot Cheetos. My hot Cheetos cause weight gain. <sighs> Myth number three. Fats make you fat. This is completely not true. There are lots of good fats that you've heard of and lots of bad fats that you've heard of. So good fats being like olive oil has good fats, avocado has good fats, um, nuts um, have good fats. All those things have really good fats for you. What are bad fats are fats that are um, like, I don't know, like fries, chips, just, I don't know, things that are high in fat that aren't, I guess, natural, I guess, as a way to put it. Eating a lot of fat along with a lot of like high carb, high sugar, eating good fats are good for your body. It keeps your hair healthy, your skin healthy. There's a lot of different good things that come out of eating healthy fats if you're eating bad fats and like high calorie junk food that's what makes you fat myth number four eating breakfast is necessary to lose weight oh my gosh i don't even know how many times i've heard this that if you skip breakfast you'll gain weight which is not true Studies do show that people who eat breakfast are more likely to weigh less. But this is only because the people who eat breakfast are more likely to have healthier food choices for like later on in the day as to as people who skip breakfast. There was actually a test that was done with 309 men and women who both equally some of them ate breakfast some of them some of them didn't eat breakfast and after four months they reweigh them all of them and they all weighed the exact same as they started so it doesn't have an effect on your weight it's just sometimes people who choose to eat breakfast just generally have 
um, better eating habits, like uh, healthier eating habits. Myth number five. My last myth is fast foods are always fattening. Now, this I can even relate to because I know that it's not true. You can take me to whatever fast food place you want and I'll find something to eat. Take me to McDonald's and I'll order. Um, they sell just like, you know how they have breakfast, the, ra the, the round eggs? Um, I'll order just some round eggs by themselves and that's what I'll eat. Like, you can literally find something and then for lunch like you can order a salad and eat it without dressing there's always something you can find so you don't have to avoid fast food places places like chipotle which are pretty healthy panera which is considered fast food those places are healthy you don't have to avoid fast food because not all of it is bad what you have to avoid is making bad choices ultimately it all comes down to the decisions you make and what you choose to eat that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed honestly there's a lot of these things that i've heard that a lot of people think so i hope it helped you understand a little bit more if there's any other myth that you've heard and i didn't mention it leave it in the comments and i'll be sure to check it out if i know something about it if i know if it's true or not then i will definitely reply also, let me know what video you want to see next. Make sure you're subscribed. Follow me on my social media. It'll be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!